Let us now write the electronic configuration for iodine. Iodine is element number 53 in the periodic table, which means it has 53 electrons. The first two electrons will go into the 1s orbital. Then the next two will go into the 2s. And the 2p will take six electrons followed by the 3s which will take two electrons then the 3p will take six electrons followed by the 4s which will take two electrons because it's s orbital followed by 3d which will take 10 electrons 4p which will take six electrons 5s will take two electrons 4d will take 10 electrons and 5p will take 5 electrons. Let us be sure that we did this correctly. Let us count the number of electrons that we have written. 2 plus 2 plus 6 is equal to 10. 2 plus 6 plus 2 is another 10. This is 10 that gives us another 10 that is 30 this is 8 this is 10 and this is 5 so if we add up 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 40 plus 13 is 53 that is the correct electronic configuration for iodine the problem is it is too long so, is there a way we can condense this electronic configuration and still mean exactly the same thing? Oh yes, there is a way. So, let us write the condensed electronic configuration for iodine. To do that, we would need to look at the periodic table. On the periodic table, we would first need to look for the noble gas that comes before iodine. Let me repeat. We will look for the noble gas element that comes before iodine. In this case, we are talking about krypton. And Krypton has 36 electrons. So, this is what we are going to do. We are going to write the electron configuration for iodine in such a way that we will place Krypton in a square bracket. What does that mean? It means that we are assuming that we have written the electronic configuration for krypton all the 36 electrons and that means on the long electronic configuration we are replacing all of this if you add up all the electrons in what i'm just highlighting you will see that they add up to 36 we are replacing them with krypton Whatever is remaining is what we will now write out. So it remains 5s2, 4d10, and 5p5. This is now the condensed electron configuration for iodine. Let us take a look at another example to drive home the point. Let us write the electron configuration for barium. Barium is element number 56, which means it has 56 electrons. Let us now do it. That will be 1s2, 2s2, 2 P6, 3S2, 
3P6, 4S2, 3D10, 4P6, 5S2, 4D10, 5P6, and then 6S2. That is very long. Let us be sure that we have done this correctly. 2 plus 2 plus 6 is 10. 2 plus 6 plus 2 is another 10. This is another 10. This is 8. This is 10. And this is another 8. Let us add them up. That will be 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. That gives us 40. And then 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 plus 40 is 56. So yes, we have written out the electron configuration correctly. But it is too long. Let us now look at the condensed electron configuration. Again, we need to look at the periodic table. This is barium, element number 56. The noble gas that comes before barium is xenon, element number 54. So, we can place xenon in a square bracket so let us rewrite barium and then place xenon in a square bracket now we know that xenon has 54 electrons let us try to find 54 electrons from here so that will be 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 8 plus 10 plus 6. Leaving only the 6s2 orbital. So the condensed electron configuration will have only 6s2 as the orbital that is outside the xenon square bracket.